Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be very special because it's a collaboration with Erin Nicole TV and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you already know her but if you don't I'm going to tell you a little bit about her today. Erin and I teamed up and we are going to show you our favorite beauty luxury products. I'm going to show you my favorite luxury beauty products on my channel and she is going to do the same video on her channel so I'm going to have a link in the description box to her channel so be sure to check out her video after you watch this one. I'm very excited to film this video in collaboration with Erin Nicole because she has been one of my favorite luxury beauty YouTubers and she has a lot of experience with luxury brands. I'm really looking forward to watching her videos because all of her videos are very well structured, she's very well spoken and she's a gorgeous and very elegant young lady and it's a pleasure to watch her videos. What I really love is that even when she does film a first impression review or unboxing video, she always does research the product beforehand and her videos are always very well structured and you can always get some very useful tips and information from her videos, which is really useful if you're into high-end makeup because you don't get to spend money and try the product for yourself, but it's really useful if someone gives you an idea what the product looks like and how the product works. What's even better, Erin gets to to play with a lot of luxury brands and luxury makeups professionally, uh, which is awesome because she can share her experience on her YouTube channel. And I think that this is something that's very useful. So I highly, highly recommend checking out her channel. Uh, don't forget to give her thumbs up and tell her that I sent you. So bottom line, it would be really interesting to watch her video because she's an expert and I'm also curious to see what are her favorite luxury beauty products. So let's go ahead and start with this video and as we go along and as I show you the products, I'm also going to recommend a few of her videos that I really like and I find that are very useful. I have a lot of products to show you today because I really love them. Some of them are quite new uh, but some of them are really old. So I'm starting with the first one and it's an absolute must-have for me. I've had this one for years and this is a fragrance. This is Jeanne by Lanvin. So this is probably my most favorite and most used fragrance. I don't even remember when I bought this fragrance for the very first time, but I was quite young, I remember. It was the time when I didn't even wear makeup, but I was always into fragrances. So this is a very beautiful fruity floral fragrance. It's very sophisticated, it's very, very chic. And I think this is a very unique fragrance. I remember actually that when I bought this fragrance, fragrance. I was still a university student and I was saving to buy the biggest bottle from this fragrance because I really really loved it and I was saving it for special occasions. So this one is an old friend of mine and I always have a bottle from this fragrance. Most of you are probably going to like this fragrance uh, for the summer and spring because it's very light but I think if I only had to choose one fragrance that is the most special for me, uh, it's going to be this one definitely. So I really, really love it. It's not a popular fragrance. I'm sure that a lot of you don't even know that it exists. This fragrance is actually not sold in Italy even. I always buy it when I go abroad, but I always keep a bottle from this fragrance. Moving on to skincare and I have a few products to show you that I really love and the first one is quite new but I'm going to have a full review of this product and this is the Jasmine Infused Oil by Chanel. So this is basically a very luxury product because it's quite pricey for a facial oil uh, but I really love the feel of it and Jasmine is one of my favorite flowers. I really love the scent of this oil. It makes me feel gorgeous when I apply it and What's unusual about this oil is that it's not oily, it doesn't make your skin oily, even though I have normal to combination skin, which during the summer gets quite oily. I love using this one, a little goes a long way, I only need a drop of this one. It makes my skin very soft, uh, but it doesn't make my skin oily, it makes my skin very silky and what's unusual about this oil is that it doesn't make your skin oily uh, but somehow it 
penetrates deeply into the skin and makes it very soft and velvety, but it's not oily. Keep an eye on my channel if you want to learn more about this product. I'm going to have a full review of this one very soon. The next product that I'm going to show you is by Philorga and this is a French brand that is dedicated to anti-aging um, cosmetics and it's a very, very good brand. I've only tried a few products from this brand because I'm not that much into anti-aging products, but this one is very good. Um, this is the Philorga Sleep and Peel Night Cream and you only use it a few times a week and it eats the dead cells from the skin. So I really think that exfoliating your skin is very important but I'm a person who has very very sensitive skin that easily gets irritated and this cream really helps me to keep my skin very smooth and beautiful and this is suitable for anyone who has sensitive skin. It's suitable also for those of you who have dry skin because it's not drying and it exfoliates the skin very gently and in the morning you're going to wake up with very soft, very beautiful and very nourished skin. It feels very comfortable and I always make sure that I have this one because I use it um, also every time before a special occasion, every time when I want my skin to look really good I'm going to use this one. So the next product that I'm going to show you is my all-time favorite serum and this is Chanel's Hydra Beauty Serum. I love the whole Hydra Beauty range. Now the reason why this is in my favorites is because it moisturizes my skin and it gives my skin a little bit of plump. Um, so it preps my skin beautifully for makeup. Every time when I want my makeup to look flawless I use this one. And another reason to try this one if you haven't it's Carolyn Herons approved. I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, so in case you're interested in the Hydra Beauty range or the Sublimage range, Erin Nicole has wonderful reviews showing you the whole products from the whole range. These are one of Erin's videos that I really love. Um, so she has a review of the whole Sublimage range, which is amazing. You know how expensive Sublimage range is. And she has a whole review of the whole range. So go ahead and check out this video in case you're interested in the Sublimage range because these products are really expensive and I highly encourage you to watch her review before purchasing any of those products. And she also made a full review of the Le Lift range from Chanel and also she made a review of the Hydro Beauty range. You know what, I'm actually going to put a link to her videos in the description box because these are not new videos. She made them, um, I think, a couple of years ago or so. And so we are moving on to makeup, finally. Uh, and the first product that I'm going to show you is a powder. And this powder has been one of my favorites. Powder is a must-have makeup product for me because most days I wouldn't even use foundation. I would only use sunscreen and powder on top. And my skin looks really beautiful. So this is my favorite powder to use alone. Um, I can use it also on top of foundation, but this is one of my most favorite powders. This is the Nude Powder by Burberry and this is Sheer Luminous Pressed Powder and it has the most gorgeous finish. Uh, it's not matte, it's not completely matte, but it has a little bit of luminosity. It just doesn't look like powder, it doesn't look powdery and it doesn't make your face look flat matte. Um, it's not luminous also, it's not like hourglass powder. So I think that this powder is a great investment because it doesn't look like powder and a little goes a long way. I've been using this one for ages and I still haven't hit the pan um, just because a little goes a long way really and I love using this one alone. So I highly recommend checking this out. I think it's suitable for all skin types. Next we're moving on to my favorite high-end concealer and again this is by Burberry and uh, this is the Burberry Cashmere Concealer. And as you can see it looks a little bit, the sponge applicator is a little bit like the one um, that the Maybelline concealer has but it's a lot smaller. And this is absolutely my favorite high-end concealer of all times. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's not heavy, it's not cakey, it doesn't crease um, and it doesn't make your skin dry so you can use it under your eyes and it works beautiful, it looks beautiful. 
Next I'm moving on to mascara and this is absolutely my must-have mascara. I've repurchased this mascara so many times and this is a no-brainer for me. I love Dior Pump and Volume and if you're following me you already know that this is my all-time favorite mascara because it gives you the most big bold lashes. I know there is a new version of Dior Pump and Volume which is the HD Dior pump and volume. I haven't tried this one yet, but this is definitely my holy grail mascara. I hope that this is not going to be discontinued because um, this is my go-to mascara. The next product that I'm going to show you is from the new Le Beige 2019 Chanel makeup collection and this is the eyeshadow palette. I really love this eyeshadow palette and I have a full review of this eyeshadow palette. I really love it and I think it's 100% worth the investment. You have nine neutral shades, which I love and some of them are a little bit shimmery, some of them are matte. I think this is a must-have eyeshadow palette. I really love neutral shades and I'm not a person who wears a lot of color on the eyes. I think this is suitable for everyone um, and this works for everyone. The colors are so gorgeous. You can also use these eyeshadows with a wet brush to have more intense effect but these are the colors that you can use everywhere. I know that a lot of you think that this is a boring eyeshadow palette. I don't think it's boring. I think it's chic. I think it's sophisticated and it really depends on what you like when it comes to eyeshadows and when you can't, when it comes to eye makeup. I really hate using greens and blue on, on my eyelids and really intense colors. I really love to keep my eyes very natural, very sophisticated. I think this is a very, very useful eyeshadow palette. The next product that I'm going to show you is going to be no surprise for those of you who are following my channel. This is my favorite blusher and I just couldn't miss mentioning this blusher because it's been my all-time favorite and this is Ju Contrast number 82 Reflex by Chanel and this is the most gorgeous blusher ever. It looks very natural on my skin. It's a peachy blusher that um, I like to apply high on my cheekbone and I even don't use a highlighter when I use this blusher because it's illuminating and it has little gold particles. Today as I'm talking about luxury beauty favorites I just cannot um, skip this one because I'm using this one every single day and this one has been my favorite for many many years. I love wearing red on my nails and my most favorite nail polish for many years has been Dior's 999. It's very hard to beat that red color. This is the most gorgeous, the most beautiful and well-balanced red color um, that you could possibly find, especially for the nails. Next, we're moving on to lipsticks. And the first one is my absolute favorite, and this is by Dior. And this is Rouge Dior number 766 Rose Harper's. And this is the most gorgeous and wearable fuchsia color ever. Um, and this is the color that I'm wearing today on my lips. So this is how the color looks like and it's a beautiful mixture of red and pink and it has the right amount of red and the right amount of pink and it just makes my face look very bright and very beautiful. So this is the color. It's not too pink and it's not too red and this makes it very very easy to wear and this is a statement color that I always use and this color always gets me a lot of compliments when I wear it. The next lipstick that I want to show you is by Lancome and it's gorgeous. Look at that packaging. Uh, but the packaging is not really important. I really love the color and I've been wearing this color in some of my latest videos and all of you keep asking what's this color. This is 354 and here is a swatch from the Lancome lipstick. So here we are. These were all of my current favorite beauty luxury products that I wanted to show you. Please don't forget to watch also Erin Nicole's video. Um, I'm going to have a link in my description box. Her channel is dedicated to luxury beauty products, so it's going to be really interesting to watch her video and see what are her picks. 
Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Tell me what are your favorite luxury beauty products because it's awesome if we can have a chat and we can create a community where uh, we can share our experiences about this super expensive makeup product. And please don't forget to do the same for Erin. Give her thumbs up and leave her a comment. Tell her that I'm sending you. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!